Welcome to our ex uh, exhibition. The title of our presentation today is Neural Network Design, Acceleration and Deployment Based on Hardnet. So we have four different uh, principal investigators that I will show, introduce our teams in the next slide. And then our teams has four professors from two different schools. And then the two on the left side, Professor Lin Yonglong Laoshi and Professor Wang Tingji Laoshi are from National Tsinghua University. And then the other two on the right side, Huang Junda Laoshi and me are from National Yangming Jiao Tong University. And then here, I would like to give special thanks to the Ministry of Science and Technology for their support through Moonshot Project, also known as Seiyue Jihua. And special thanks to our graduate students, which consists of more than 20 graduate students for their hard work and perseverance. And then, so before that, uh, corresponding to the title of today's exhibition, let me give a very brief introduction to convolutional neural network for short CMN. And then the first row of the pictures in these slides are actually a list of applications that can be used, can be uh, utilized by using convolutional neural network. And then uh, these are here also uh, only a list of computer vision tasks include image detection, uh, image classification, object detection, or semantic segmentation, which are highly used for self-driving driving cars. And then also object checking is also very uh, important uh, application for computer vision. Then I have to introduce a few backbones that to be used by very famous well-known CNNs. One is VGG and the other is uh, ResNet, which is known, uh, also known as its residual connection. Then we also have DenseNet, uh, uh, also known as its dense connections between blocks. And then the hardware architecture, the neural network architecture on the most uh, right hand side is the one that we proposed, which is called HardNet. Then we also have to introduce several different uh, platforms that where we can deploy our CNNs, including Raspberry Pi, Sumer Pi, and GPU, and FPGA, or ASIC SLCs. Then here is a brief introduction to our proposed HardNet. And then the full name for HANA is Harmonic Density Connected CNNs. So we can we see three different architectures on the right hand side. And then the top one is DenseNet. And then the middle one is lo uh, Log DenseNet or SparseNet. And then the bottom one is our proposed HardNet. As compared to the topmost one, which is DenseNet, the property of our proposed Den HardNet is actually uh, actually has simple shortcut, which means instead of having a lot of densely connected connections between blocks. Our hard net has also, uh, has only simple shortcuts. And then the second property for our hard net is that uh, we have harmonic waves. So you can see on the bottommost figure of our architecture, we have like harmonic waves, such that the overall memory profile can be optimized. Then depending on simple shortcut and harmonic waves, and then we design weighted number of channels from block to block, such that the resulting memory traffic can be optimized. And then these are a list of properties for our proposed hardnet. Then let me proceed to the next slide. Uh, because of the properties that, into, uh, that are introduced in the previous slide, and then the principle or the final goal for designing hardnet is to reduce the memory access or the overall memory profile. And because of that, and then we can have lightweight architecture and then our neural net can be fast and accurate and also energy efficient and also surprisingly secure. And then in the, fig uh, in the figure on the right, I will show you how fast and accurate our proposed hard net is. So in this slide, uh, the more upright, the better because the, uh, the right means uh, the faster and the upper means uh, the, uh, the more accurate. And then you can see our hard net has two, uh, has two different points, which are very close to the upper uh, right corner of this figure, which means our proposed hard net is not only fast, but also accurate as compared to DenseNet, ResNet, or RexNext, which is the next generation of ResNet uh, in this slide. Then this shows how fast and accurate our hard net is. Then, uh, this slide shows how energy or power efficient our hard net is. You can see uh, the figure on the right 
demonstrates the profile of energy cost for recognition of 50K images. And then this is a summarization from a paper done by Stanford, Facebook, Media Research, and McGill from Canada. And then you can see, uh, as compared to other existing famous neural nets across the universe, our hard nets are basically close to the bottom left corners. You can see there are a lot of hard net neural nets, and then which means our hard net is not only fast and accurate, as shown in the previous slide, but also energy efficient for recognition of 50K images. And then uh, it's worth noting that there are some points, there are some circles close to our hard net. For example, LXNet and MobileNet. I have to mention that LXNet is one of very old, old like old fashioned neural net, which are not very accurate. And then the mobile net is designed for mobile devices. So even though uh, mobile net is fast and energy efficient, but the accuracy is not that competitive as compared to our hard net. So this shows how energy efficient our hard net is. This slide I will show you an interesting example which demonstrate how secure hard net is. Uh, on the top of this slide, we have two different license plates. The one on the left is the original plate without any colorful pattern. And then the one on the right is the one with so-called adversarial attack, which means we put some colorful patterns on the white space of the original plates. And then if we use the original plate and then also use the Harnet, uh, Harnet 85, which is one of the architecture from Harnet family, and then the de accuracy of detection for the license plate can be as high as 97%. However, if we use the attack plate, then accuracy will be dropped to uh, 56%, which means 44% of the time, the red box doesn't show up because the attack doesn't work. However, if we refine or fine tune our hard net, then the accuracy can be back to 95%, which is very close to the original 97%. And then it's worth noting that this is the result from using hard net 85. If we use a different existing famous network such as VGG, and then VGG actually screws up the license plate detection, especially when the adversarial attack is applied. Then the following slide, the following two slides shows uh, two additional achievements from our group, uh, which are award-winning projects in low power computer vision for sure LP CV challenges 2020 last year. And then the first achievement is in the track of FPGA. So in this FPGA track, we actually applied HARNET for the task of image classification task on, and then to be deployed on FPGA. And then the result shows our deployment is fast, accurate, and energy efficient as illustrated in previous slides. And then our, uh, our teams only second to one teams, which is very famous team from MIT. And then the team names once for all. And this is for FPGA. And then the other achievement is the same challenge, but for different track for DSP and CPU, based on borrowing the concept, which is to optimize the memory traffic. And then we try to deploy the task of image classification on very lightweight, that is resource limited hardware, such as smartphone and Raspberry Pi. And then in one of the uh, competition, which has two deploy neural nets on smartphone. And then the ta we target 70 millisecond latency and achieve high accuracy as much as possible. Our teams got third place in DSP track and then fourth place in CPU track. It's worth noting that uh, the, uh, the competition for DSP track, we got the third place, which tied with the MIT team and then who was the champion in the FPGA track. So these two additional achievements shows uh, the competitiveness of our team, and then also demonstrated the hardware, uh, sorry, demonstrated the hard net and how hard net variants can be fast, accurate, energy efficient, and secure. And then this final slide shows the results of our FPGA challenge for DSP CPU track. And then you can see the figure on the right, we have uh, several different sets of uh, points. And then with mobile net, efficient net. And then the orange yellow net are the result uh, of ours. 
And then our best results are those on the red curve, red points. And then you can see that our results actually outperform those existing nets, including mobile net, efficient net developed by Google, and then uh, once for all, which, from, which is from the MIT team. And then you can see the best result of ours. And in this plot, the more button left, the better. And then let me play a short video on the left to conclude my talk. And then this is the result from uh, this competition and then shows uh, our uh, deployment on Raspberry Pi can be fast and accurate as well. And thank you, uh, thank you for listening. And then I will see you in Future Tech 2021 soon.